In this video, we want to show how to use uh, Ministry Assistant along with Territory Helper to import your territory into this application, Ministry Assistant. If you don't have Ministry Assistant, uh, go to Google Play Store and find Ministry Assistant and put it on your tablet. Once you've done that, now we can open Ministry Assistant. And this should be your opening home screen. Now some of the features in here is that um, it has a service timer at the top. We'll talk about all that later. But you'll notice at the bottom of the uh, screen there's a home button. That's where you're at now. There's an also a button that says report. If you touch that, it goes to this and it keeps record of your monthly and daily and service year, how many hours, how many placements and so forth. The next button is interested. If you have any interested people, uh, it will bring them all up in here, all your calls. And then uh, the next button is territory. If you have a territory, it'll show up in here. And there's also a button, uh, ministry schedule. This will help you schedule your service time every day, which is really good for making sure you get your time updated and uh, 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 scheduled. But we're going to go back to territory now because what we really want to do is bring, show you how to import a territory into this application. So you'll notice at the very top right-hand corner in the blue ribbon, it, said, there's, it looks like a folded map and a plus sign. Touch the plus sign. Now in here, you'll notice the very first thing it says, it says import from Territory Helper. If you, are, if you have Territory Helper and the, you've been assigned a territory by the servants in the congregation, you can now just click on Import from Territory Helper. That'll open this dialog box. And any territories that you've been assigned will come into this, will, will, will show up here. And so if you want to import a particular territory, all you have to do is touch one of these buttons. So let's import territory number 13. Just touch it. Okay, now it says create manually down here. It says uh, city 13. And now the neighborhood, and you can add different neighborhoods. I just have North City in this one. We want to put it there. And we're going to save it by pushing the Save button. And we're also going to push Done at the top. Now, this page shows all of the addresses in this particular territory. And there's lots of them, aren't there? <laughs> and that is because it, uh, if you want to look at we're, what we'll do is we're going to look at the the territory map itself now. Um, we're going to go to uh, map up in the the middle icon. There's three dots, and then there's an icon of a map. If you push that, it actually shows the territory. There's your territory. And now here's a, um, if you go to the top right, and there's a little white button that looks like a globe. If you push that, that gives you a satellite view of the territory. And you can see this is a mobile home park, and that's why it just has certain numbers on it. Now let's go out of this one. We're going to go out of this territory. We're going to add another territory in. So you go back here to the um, by pushing that top button. Back here it says import from territory helper. Let's in, bring in city one this time. And we are going to do here is we're going to add a neighborhood. We're going to call it South City. You can name these anything you want. Push, push OK. 
and a push south city. So that'll put it in the southern part of the city. All right, now we're going to push save. And here's that territory. And so here's all the streets, all the houses in this particular territory. I'm going to push done at the top there. Now, uh, I'm going to go to the map again. This is in the top, up in the top, looks like a little map beside the pencil. Touch it. And there's a picture of your territory map. Now, if you want to see this from a satellite view, there's a little button at the top right that looks like a globe. Just touch it, and it brings in your uh, map and actually shows the houses that you're going to work at, where they're at. Uh, this one is a do not call. See the little circle in it? The next one's a regular house. Now, when you're going down the street, there are a couple ways that you can work this. You can just go down the street and have this open. You come to this house, just touch the little blue house on it. it tells you the address. And then if you touch it again, you can say, okay, that person was not at home. And, oh, whoops, person's not home, not home, not at home. Okay. Um, now let's go, let's go back out of that. We're going to go to our, um, back to our street view. Now, let's say you, you want to, you're going to work on a particular street as you go down the, the your lane. Uh, you'll notice at the bottom where the little home screen is, the one just left of that looks like street signs, and that's what it is. Now, if you just want to see just the houses on that street, there's the houses on that street. There are several houses, see. And but um, if you here's a here's a trick you might like. Up where it says Big Sky Drive in the blue area there, see the three dots. If you touch those, it opens this. Now, if you want to see just the even addresses, let's say you're just working the even side of the street, you touch that. It only shows the even numbers here. And if you go to your map view, it only shows the even. It shows all the even side numbers on the map. Let's go back to this. And if you only want to see the odd numbers, there are no odd numbers on that particular street. So let's show all. Let's try another street. Let's go to uh, Nighthawk Drive. Go to the three dots, show just the even addresses. There's four even addresses. And show the odds. There's the odd numbers on there. So as you're working them, you can do that. Now if you go back to map, it's only going to show the odd number houses on here as you're working down the street. Again, look at it from a satellite view. There's our satellite view. As you're working down the street, you can figure those out too. So let's go back to this. Now let's say that you've worked um, uh, this house 6601. You touch it, and it says not at home. So we touch not at home. Uh, whoops. Now you'll notice that under 6601, that little house there has a 1 on it. That means you visited the house once and they were not home. Now if you go there a second time, not home, it puts a 2 up there in that box. Go again, not at home, it puts a 3 in that. So as many times as you're going to work that house, you'll know how many times you've worked that house. And there are other things you can put in here. They were not interested uh, or other things that may go in there. Now. Suppose you put in not interested, you didn't mean to do that. Uh, the way that you can undo that is in that same white bar, you see the three dots down there? Touch the three dots. Go to the bottom, there's a little thing that says reset. And you can reset it and start over again. Nice little thing to have. But this makes it, uh, the working of your territory so nice. Um, 
and hope you find that um, to be useful. We'll do some more late, uh, some more videos to help you na navigate inside of uh, Ministry Assistant and show you how to use some more of the features that are in it.